Hello everyone, uh, this is Dan uh, the Nature Man coming to you from the Mount Olivet Conference and Retreat Center. A number of years ago, uh, the tennis court had developed some severe cracks in it and a big dip. And so we had to make a decision whether or not we were going to continue uh, fixing it and make a huge expense or if we're going to do something else. So our chef at the time suggested, well, why don't we do a garden? So we decided in 2016 to dig in and we installed uh, some raised beds uh, they're four feet wide by eight feet long and two feet tall. Uh, we had four the first year built by an Eagle Scout. And then uh, in the next year, over a period of year, we had eight more boxes built by Mount Olivet uh, volunteers. So, and then uh, I decided also to add an orchard. So we had volunteers cut out squares in the tennis court and plant some fruit trees. We're going to go out and take a look uh, at the tennis court which has been repurposed now for a garden space and we use this food for uh, the retreat center guests here as well. So let's uh, take a walk outside and we'll continue our visit. Here we are in the uh, garden now. Uh, we have 12 boxes of vegetables that we grow for our guests. And in front of me is uh, peppers, which have been taking off now in the hot weather the past couple of weeks. And we got some cucumbers here with uh, different uh, fruit hanging down, the trailing over this uh, trellis. And uh, we're also growing uh, this year potatoes for the first time, uh, uh, tomatoes, we had uh, lettuce and spinach early on. Both of them have been harvested and we had, well we actually had too much for our own guests so we took out several big uh, containers to the main church for the grab and go dinners that were happening up there. And we'll be bringing up some uh, cucumbers as well because we have a ton of cucumbers. Uh, we also grew uh, peas and uh, green beans and onions and carrots. So those are the main uh, vegetables that we've been uh, growing in the, the garden here. All of these uh, boxes have open bottoms. So on the bottom uh, we put uh, landscape fabric and then we filled it up with uh, compost type soil. And then I have an organic fertilizer that I've come up with from online that I add to all the beds. And then uh, we have also a drip irrigation system which is uh, very helpful in, in watering as well. Uh, here's a couple of beds that are empty. They had uh, lettuce and spinach in them earlier. And uh, now I'm putting in a fall crop of carrots. So the carrots were started uh, about a week ago. And I put this reme fabric over it. I have the seeds in earthworm castings covered by vermiculite and keep it moist all the time and we'll see if there's anything coming up yet. So I'll just take off this uh, fabric and see if we have any germination. And there's a few seeds uh, coming up, but we're gonna have to wait uh, another week or so, but they're just starting to uh, germinate. Besides the, the vegetables, we also installed an orchard. So we had uh, volunteers come and dig out, or not dig out, but they actually cut out uh, sections of the asphalt from the tennis court. And then we dug out all the hard pan soil and filled it in with compost in these three by three sections. 
and then uh, added drip irrigation and we have uh, now blueberries here which are this one is at their peak we got three uh, varieties of blueberries there's three honey berries which were ripe the first week of june imagine having fresh fruit by june 1st in minnesota and then we have an experimental peach tree and four uh, apple trees and the peach tree last year we only had one ripe peach and this year we have over 200 uh, or more so far we'll see if they get ripe by the end of august and then uh, one other unique feature that's really cool about the uh, garden area in here is we already have a built-in deer fence so the deer are excluded with the uh, apple trees I've been uh, trying to grow them organically which is uh, a real challenge uh, one method I've been uh, experimenting with uh, the last couple of years is uh, using these nylon footies so these little nylon footies you put over the apple when they're about the size of a dime. So you sort of, uh, you know, have to find a way to put them on and keep them on. And I've tried different types of rubber bands, including orthodontist rubber bands, but they all seem to uh, break down in the sun. So I've been ex experimenting with different other types of attachments so this year I tried these miniature snap clothespins and I also have been using these orchid clips so let's take one off here and uh, see what it looks like so this apple here this is a kinder crisp and there's a little blemish there but otherwise so far it looks like a perfectly nice apple, which is our goal. It doesn't always happen that way, but these are the little nylon footies. Uh, it's sort of labor intensive, but uh, you wrap it around and then you add the orchid clip to hold it in place. And then this nylon will just expand while the apple grows and it helps to keep off the uh, insects from reaching the apple and laying their eggs on there. So we'll find out uh, in the next month or so how good of a crop uh, that we have this year. Well that concludes uh, the garden tour. It gives you an idea of what we're growing out here and the foods you can expect to eat if you're a guest and maybe it gives you some ideas of what you can be uh, doing at your own home even if you don't have round space to, to garden. You can always do these uh, raised containers. Well, thanks for uh, joining us for these nature talks this summer as we retreat where you are. Remember when you're out and about in nature to be looking up and down and all around. And may the wonders of God's creation give you hope and encouragement day by day. Happy trails.